Hey guys, so I'm probably going to get a question about this, uh, how you compare an Xbox One controller to your X or HTC One M8. Now, I don't have my HTC One M8 rooted, which means that I only would be able to connect it and I can see that it has a connection with the phone, but if you want to get this to fully work, you probably have to root your HTC One M8. But if you want to see uh, that you can establish the connection, I'm going to show you that in this video right now. So. First of all, um, you do of course need a phone and then you need an app uh, that you can find in the Play Store, uh, which we're going to go and search for right now. And that is going to be a BT uh, Joystick. Now this app costs a little bit of money, uh, but it's totally worth it. Uh, no guarantees that it will work though for some devices that's even rooted. I didn't get it to work my S4 or my uh, my Galaxy Note 3. I did get it to work though on my Nexus 5 with stock version of Android. So um, you download this and now um, you can see here I'm rooted and uh, it shouldn't be any hard to do this um, root. Uh, from what I have seen on the HS1 M8, so you can do that yourself, but uh, you need to go in here to um, uh, uh, That language and keyboard activate USB gold IME uh, And then you want to activate it and change this one and now of course uh, With this one here, you need to the Xbox one you need to connect the cable to it And you'll see how amazing this app is um, that you can see that it fully establish a, a connection <sighs> and this I'm just doing to demo it out for people that maybe is interested and curious uh, to do this themselves so you connect it right here now uh, basically what you do here is you want to um, uh, you don't want to activate BT that stands for Bluetooth uh, because this is over USB so I'm just gonna tap up here and it's gonna do a search scan for USB first and you can see found Xbox one controller that's the text that popped up okay so you can see it found it, it or it finds the Xbox one controller and also what we can do here is that when we start to tap on buttons here it is automatically recognizing it so uh, obviously this is probably gonna work pretty cool but now here's the thing you need to uh, have root rights to have a a, a thing that pops up um, a, a driver that pops up uh, on top so you can customize exactly where the buttons where you want to activate some specific buttons and just because I don't have root I can't do that but you can see I can activate it or I can pair it here very, very easily with this uh, BT joystick app and you can also see here that I can uh, control the menus and stuff by going side to, to the side here with the joystick now if I would uh, open this up in a game it wouldn't work uh, it seems because I need to have the touchscreen driver and manually um, uh, tweak the buttons where I specifically, like if I uh, have the driver button here, uh, I have to have the touchscreen um, driver on top so I can activate it. But yeah, I don't have root, so that it's not gonna work right here. Oh, wait a sec. Holy shit, it is working. Hmm. So you can see I can control the menus here. Interesting. Let's see if we can do some gaming. Uh, I don't think we are going to be able to do that. Whoa. Okay, that's a funny glitch. I mean... Yeah, did it crash? No? Interesting. I don't think it's gonna work, as I said, but... Oh, interesting glitch. Wow. So that glitch is coming here. Pretty funny. Get on the bike. Yeah, it's pretty hard to get on the bike when it's... But you need that touchscreen driver and you need to activate it. And uh, I have more videos about this. Uh, so, um, yeah. It's quickly a video. Checking that out. Hopefully you did enjoy. And now we kind of know how to pair it. Um, but root access, you probably will need to have that.